There is really a small amount of resources today for doctors about healthcare finance. And that is why what Nomi is doing in creating a series about healthcare finance for physicians is so important because like if doctors look around at their fellow physicians, there's actually not a lot of their peers that understand this. And so they really need to go outside of the traditional physician community to learn how the economics of healthcare impacts them and impacts their patients. That's why what Nomi's doing is so important. I'm Dr. Eric Bricker, and I'm also a healthcare finance expert. I know how doctors get taken advantage of financially, and that's why I've partnered with Nomi Health to share with you what I know. This is Healthcare Uncovered. All right, slate in and marker. So I'm uh, Dr. Eric Bricker. I'm an internist. I went to the University of Illinois in Chicago for medical school, did my residency in internal medicine at Johns Hopkins in Baltimore. And while I was in residency, I actually started a healthcare navigation company because I saw just how complicated it was to navigate the U.S. healthcare system. So myself and two other partners started a company called Compass Professional Health Services that actually grew to over 2,000 employer clients and about 1.8 million people that we helped navigate U.S. healthcare from their docs to the hospital to the insurance. And then we ended up selling that business in 2018. And I still knew there was an opportunity to educate more people about the U.S. healthcare system. So I just started making videos explaining that to folks in a way that, I don't know, was, was, was understandable, was, was not using a bunch of jargon, and I could just shoot people straight. Healthcare is incredibly easy to understand when you understand the incentives that are underlying why is the insurance company acting this way? Why is the hospital acting this way? Why is the doctor acting this way? Why is the government acting this way? When you understand their incentives, then you understand why they're doing what they're doing. And guess what they are? It's not their only incentive, but one of the major incentives around that is the money. And so by understanding kind of how the money flows and how the incentives work in healthcare, it gives you a much better understanding of why healthcare is how it is and then how to change it. Because by changing the incentive structure, then you can actually improve it. So I actually kind of think of myself as like a public health worker where um, the incentives within uh, healthcare are themselves a, a public health threat. So akin to like unclean drinking water. And so it's really beholden to, frankly, it's beholden to us as physicians and our responsibility to, to our patients to clean up the incentives that are actually making care for people worse and not better. Doctors really struggle in understanding healthcare finance because they have received absolutely zero training in uh, finance and organizations, period. So in my medical school, and in my residency, I received zero training in terms of how I, as a doctor, was going to get paid. Like, no one ever tells you how you're going to get paid. No one ever tells you how your patients are going to pay for their medical care. No one ever tells you how the hospital gets paid. So there's this complete vacuum of, um, of, of it's not misinformation, it's non-information. There's this huge vacuum of non-information. And I don't know why that is. Do they think that the medical curriculum is too full and they can't add anything else? Do they think that the doctors are not interested in this? Um, it's like somebody being a race car driver and not understanding that you need to have gasoline in your Indy car. I mean, it's like there's some basic things that you need to understand. And in my opinion, this is one of them in healthcare. And all people doctors included, when they are incredibly busy and don't know anything about a subject, then they don't even know where to start and they don't even know what questions to ask. And so by creating these videos with Nomi, it's like, let's, let's just get you started. We got to put on some training wheels here to just get going. And if you can just start, then that's going to start opening up a world of even more things that you can understand. And you're a smart person as a doctor. You can understand this and you can do something about it. And let's just take some baby steps to get you started. Why is everything in healthcare still so hidden? Why is there a lack of transparency? There's all these other industries, whether it be you know banking or, or e-commerce, where things are just so much smoother and so much more transparent. And healthcare has a real lack of competition problem. And one of the things that keeps organizations honest 
is competition. And so when you don't have competitors, then it's real easy to cut corners and not give full answers. And it's only through competition that you're like, okay, well, I need to make things better, faster, cheaper, more honest, more transparent. And so whether it be the majority of cities in America have very low competition among hospitals. They frankly don't have a lot of hospital systems competing with each other. We only have three or four major health insurance companies in America. 20, 30 years ago, we had over a dozen. We had dozens, and they've all consolidated. Um, there used to be uh, a lot more choices in terms of your uh, pharmacy benefits manager, a PBM, if you know what that is. Now, what has fueled this consolidation but among hospitals, among health insurance companies, among PBMs? Ironically, it's been the ease of credit and low interest rates. Because in order to merge, you have to raise debt. And interest rates have been so low that these organizations can go into huge amounts of debt to fund their consolidation. And then when you consolidate, guess what you can do? You can raise prices. So unbeknownst to the economic powers at be, when they made interest rates incredibly low and debt incredibly cheap, they fueled consolidation that translates into a lack of transparency. One of my goals for Healthcare Uncovered is for doctors to understand that they have tremendous power within the healthcare system. And so many of them have become disheartened because of what's happened to them. And it's completely understandable why they've become disheartened. But by understanding why things are happening to them the way that they are, and by understanding that there are actually small steps of action that you can do to change that, then it makes the process of improving your patients' lives and improving your own professional career as much more attainable. And it's, it's not like boiling the ocean. It's like, okay, there's some small, concrete steps that every physician can take to help their patients and to help themselves and to help their practice. And I think these videos with Nomi Health are contributing to that.